In this video, we're going to talk about how to convert currency given the currency exchange rate. So in this problem, John has 15,000 US dollars that he wants to convert into euros. How much money in euros will he receive? Now we're given the currency exchange rate or the conversion factor. One US dollar is equal to 0.9 euros. So how many euros is 15,000 US dollars? So let's convert it. First, start with what you're given. And we're gonna write that number on the numerator of a fraction. Now in the next fraction, we're going to put the exchange rate in it. We want the unit US dollars to cancel, leaving behind the unit euros. So there's two parts to this equation, one US dollar and 0.9 euros. One of them will go on the top of this fraction and the other will go on the bottom. The question is which one? Now, notice that we have US dollars on the top in the first fraction. In order for that unit to cancel, we need to put that same unit on the bottom of the second fraction. So we're gonna put this part on the bottom part of the second fraction, which means the right side of the equation has to go on top. So you wanna set it in such a way that these units will cancel. If you do that, you're gonna get the right answer. So now because these two numbers are on top of the fraction, we need to multiply. So it's gonna be 15,000 times 0.9. And so the answer is 13,500 euros. So that's how you can convert from US dollars into euros. Now, keep in mind, the currency exchange rate that you see here, it changes every day. So tomorrow, that rate might be slightly different than what you see. So if you're going to convert US dollars into euros, you need to find out what the exchange rate is for that current day. So just keep that in mind. Now let's move on to the next problem. Kim has 30,000 Canadian dollars that she wants to convert into US dollars. How much will she receive in US dollars? Now we're given the exchange rate of one US dollar is 1.31 Canadian dollars. So using this information, go ahead and get the answer. So let's start with what we're given. That is 30,000 Canadian dollars. We're gonna write this over one. Now in the next fraction, we're going to write the two parts of our conversion factor or the exchange rate. So the one US dollar, where should that go? And where should we put the 1.31 Canadian dollars? Should we put the 1.31 Canadian dollars on the top of this fraction or on the bottom? What would you say? So looking at the fact that we have the unit Canadian dollars on the top part of the first fraction, we want to put that same unit on the bottom part of the second fraction. Keep in mind, we want the unit Canadian dollars to cancel because we want to convert it to US dollars. So we want the other part of that equation to be on top. So our final answer will be in US dollars. Now, notice that this number is on the bottom. So for this problem, we need to divide as opposed to multiply like we did in the first problem. So when you're dealing with fractions, if you have a number on top of a fraction and one on the bottom, you need to perform division. In the last problem, we had a number on top. In this case, we need to perform multiplication when dealing with two numbers on top of a fraction. So to get this answer, it's going to be 30,000 divided by 1.31. And so Kim will expect to receive 22,976 cents. So that's how much US dollars she expects to receive. Let me put the unit USD. So that's it for number two. So now you know how to convert between Canadian dollars and US dollars. Number three, 
Lauren wants to buy a laptop online. Store XYZ sells it for 350 GBP or British pounds and store ABC sells it for 385 euros. Given a currency exchange rate of 1 GBP per euro, which is 1.16, which store offers the best deal? So feel free to pause the video if you want to take a minute and work this problem out. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that both values are in the same unit because then we can make a fair comparison to find out which store offers the best deal. So let's convert GBP into euros. But now how do we work with the exchange rate when it's in this format? So let's write down what we know. One British pound per one euro is 1.16. That's what this expression is saying. Now what I'm going to do is multiply both sides of this equation by one euro. On the left side, the unit euros will cancel. So what I'm going to get on the left side is one GBP and on the right side, I multiply these two. So this is going to be 1.16 euros. Or you could write it this way. So one British pound is equal to 1.16 euros. Now let's go ahead and perform the conversion. So we're starting with 350 GPP, I mean GBP. And we're going to convert that into euros. So we have 350 British pounds. And this is our conversion rate. So because we have the unit GBP on top, we're going to put that same unit on the bottom. So this part is going to go on the bottom of the second fraction. And we're going to put 1.16 euros on top. So these units will cancel. This tells us that we need to multiply because we have the two numbers on the top of the fractions. So it's 350 times 1.16. And so that's going to be 406 euros. So now let's compare store ABC and store XYZ. Store ABC is selling the laptop for 385 euros. Store XYZ is selling it for 350 British pounds, which when you convert it is 406 euros. So this price is lower now that the units are the same. Therefore, Store ABC offers the best deal for the laptop. So Lauren, if she wants to save money, wants to buy the laptop at store ABC. So that's it for this problem. Number four, Sally has 45,000 Canadian dollars that she wants to convert into Australian dollars. Given the currency exchange rate of one US dollar per Canadian dollar is 1.31 and one Australian dollar per US dollar is 0.685, how much money should she expect to receive in Australian dollars? So this is a double conversion problem. But right now, let's write out the conversion factors that we have. So let's start with the first one. One US dollar per one Canadian dollar is equal to 1.31. So let's multiply both sides by one Canadian dollar. So these two will cancel and we're going to get this conversion factor. One US dollar is equal to 1.31 Canadian dollars. Now let's adjust this one. So one Australian dollar per one US dollar is equal to 0.685. 
So multiplying both sides by one US dollar, those units will cancel. So we get that one Australian dollar, which is on the left side of the equation, is equal to 0.685 US dollars. So we have two conversion factors. Now, Sally wants to convert her money from Canadian dollars into Australian dollars. So what we need to do is convert from Canadian dollars to US dollars first using this conversion factor. And then we can convert from US dollars to Australian dollars using the second conversion factor. Now, in this problem, we're not given a direct conversion from Canadian dollars to Australian dollars. Now, you can look this information up online. If you go to Google and type in CAD to AUD, it will give you the direct conversion. But for the sake of learning, we're going to do the double conversion in this problem. So let's start with 45,000 Canadian dollars. And as always, we're going to write this over 1. Now, in the second fraction, we're going to use this information. So since we see Canadian dollars on the top left, we're going to put that same unit on the bottom right. So that's going to be this part of the first conversion factor. And then the other part of the exchange rate is going to go on top. So we can see that the unit Canadian dollars cancels. Now for the next fraction, we're going to use the exchange rate that we see here. So notice that we have US dollars on top. We're going to put that on the bottom. So this part goes on the bottom of the third fraction. So that's going to be 0.685 US dollars. And that corresponds to one Australian dollar. So the unit US dollars will cancel. And we can also cancel this dollar sign. So notice that these two numbers are on the bottom of the second and third fraction, which means division. So we're going to start with 45,000. And then we're going to divide by 1.31 since it's on the bottom. That gives us 34,351.145. We're going to take that result and divide it again by that number. So divided by 0.685, and you should get 50,000, 147 dollars, and if you round it, 66 cents. So that's in Australian dollars. So that's the answer for number four. So now you know how to perform a double conversion if needed. Now let's move on to number five. Luke converts 70,000 US dollars into euros at an exchange rate of one euro per US dollar, which is 1.16. When the currency rate rises to 1.89, he changes his money back into US dollars. How much money did Luke make from his currency trades? So first, let's convert US dollars into euros. Actually, before we do that, let's adjust the information that we have here. So one euro per one US dollar is $1.16. So multiplying both sides by one USD, those units will cancel. We have this conversion. So one euro is $1.16. So the other conversion that we have tells us that if we follow the same process, one euro is $1.89. So that's the second exchange rate. So Luke, he's going to convert 70,000 US dollars into euros using this first exchange rate. So let's do that. 
So we have $70,000 over 1, and it's $1.16 per 1 euro. So as we could see, the unit dollars cancel. And because this number is on the bottom, we're going to divide. So let me do that real quick. 70,000 divided by 1.16, and that's going to be 60,344 euros and 0.83 if we round it. So now he's going to convert that money back into USD when the currency rate rises to 1.89. So now we're going to use this conversion factor. So let's start with what he has in euros at this point. So we're going to put that over 1, and then we're going to use the second exchange rate in this fraction. So we have the symbol euros on top. We need to put that same symbol on the bottom. Okay, let me write that better. So we have 1 euro corresponds to a dollar and 89. So the unit euros will cancel. And we're going to get the unit in dollars. So this time, the two numbers are on top of the two fractions. So we need to multiply. So it's going to be 60,344.83 times 1.89. And so this is going to be 114,051 dollars and 73 cents. So this is how much money he started with in U.S. dollars. And as a result of his two currency trades, he now has this much money in U.S. dollars. So his current account value is $114,051.73. He started with 70000 So the amount of money that he made is the difference between the two. which is $44,051.73. So that's how much money Luke made from his currency trades. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to convert from one currency into another. And thanks again for watching.